What is up guys? I'm Daddy Gamer Fred back again with another Pokemon discussion video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the data mine that just happened for Pokemon Masters that revealed that there's going to be a Pokemon Presents happening this August. This is coming from Brian at Nintendo everything.com new information has been uncovered suggesting that pokemon presents presentation could be happening in august fans have been digging through the latest update for pokemon masters ex specifically version 235 some code is included that mentions a campaign start date of i'm not gonna read this number out but it's basically i'm, I'm gonna read it out it's one six nine one four nine nine six zero zero that basically translate into august 8th 2023 and here's a quick look of what was specifically found and in the words you see pokemon present highlighted it says campaign pokemon presents and it has a start date and an end date if we do get a pokemon present in august there's plenty that could be shown pokemon scarlet and Violet still have two big waves of DLC. We get new information out of them on top of the Detective Pikachu returns coming out in October. So let me jump in. If we're seeing this in the data mine, I think we could 100% at least confirm that one is coming. If not on that start date, then something is coming that pertains to a Pokemon Presents. Kind of would make sense that they would do a Pokemon Presents now to, to basically go over like what this article says, the DLC. Here's what to expect. Here's my opinion of what to expect. We're going to see some mobile game stuff. We're going to see stuff from Pokemon Masters. We're going to see stuff from Pokemon Go. We're going to see stuff from Pokemon Cafe Mix. Hell, we might even see an update or an event thing going on in Pokemon Sleep, which I have been playing. I've, I've been playing kind of like whateverly, not taking it too seriously, but throwing the thermometer or the sleep monitor on every time at night just so it could you know get berries and stuff having i don't i don't really really know how to function it correctly because i don't even know how to catch pokemon right but i have been playing and i've been it's okay it's it's a whatever as far as pokemon scarlet and violet i think it's a guarantee that we see a new dlc trailer for the either wave one and wave two stuff here again just showing more of the new pokemon of the new area i'm sure they got other new pokemon up their sleeves that they want to showcase if not new pokemon returning pokemon anyway and i think this is something that a trailer before launch could do and highlight very well outside of pokemon scarlet and violet i do think this is a shoe in as well we could see a brand new trailer for detective pikachu we only seen the game once so them showing a new detective pikachu the sequel to detective pikachu detective pikachu returns trailer here kind of would make sense to get more people hype on the game i feel like right now the hype for detective pikachu is pretty much gone if you're not a fan i don't think that first initial trailer sold you so looking at it now it's like huh like you know what i'm saying kind of wishy-washy on detective pikachu i don't know if i'm gonna get it at least not day one are we gonna see anything outside of the stuff that is announced are they gonna announce a new pokemon game are they gonna show what's coming next year for pokemon i don't think so i don't think we see next year's game i don't think we see the black and white remake that everyone's talking about the the pokemon legends version of black and white i don't think if that is true i don't think we do see that here all for the simple fact that the way pokemon usually do it if they are going to have a presents now midway through the year it kind of will take the uh, out of the pokemon presents that's going to be happening in, in february once the year started and we're rolling into that new year we're going to be rolling into new games unless they do treat this black and white game like pokemon legends arceus and those rumors are true and then that game is slated to come out early in 2024 then we might see it here but i think even that you would keep that tucked until at least wave one of the dlc is out you don't want to get through dlc one and two with people knowing that there's going to be a brand new game on horizon even though pokemon drops every year brand new game on horizon not really shocking anyone however promotion wise you don't want to step on each other's toes or your own toes in that matter in this case 
And I think they will hold the tuck until they're ready to line it up and tee it up for promotion-wise. But let me know what you think we're going to see here in this August Pokemon Presents. I think if it does happen, again, we're going to just see DLC stuff, Detective Pikachu stuff, and mobile game stuff. But if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Let me know what you think we're going to see in the comment section below. Like always, guys, I answer all comments, so let's have that conversation down there. If you're new around here... Consider hitting that subscribe button. I do videos like this every day. Talking Pokemon, Call of Duty, Fortnite, wherever I feel like dropping the vibes on. I drop it here on the channel. So again, consider hitting that subscribe button. Also, hit the like button. It does help me out a ton as far as moving these videos. And to recommend it so other people can check out the videos. Peace. I love you guys. I'm going to see you guys on the next one.